Ida Ice Learning Center Cooling Load Calculation When carrying out a cooling load calculation, the user needs to specify a number of simulation parameters. They are accessed through the Setup button. First of all, the user has to specify if internal heat gains in the zones should be considered during the simulation as a default. All internal heat gains are included in the calculation. The user also needs to specify whether to use synthetic weather data or data from a particular climate set. If we use synthetic weather data, we still need to specify the day that we are simulating because this affects the sun position as well as the solar radiation. In this case, we are going to be using a climate file for the prediction of the cooling loads. Such climate files either contain measured data or data that has been generated. For such a simulation, we also need to specify the simulation period. After specifying all the simulation data, we are initiating the simulation run. Once the simulation is finished, a tabular overview of the performance predictions appears. This column indicates the heat that has been removed from the zones via the air handling unit and the room units. This column indicates only the heat that has been removed via the room units. It is also important to note that the results we are seeing here are not peak values, but 15 minutes sliding averages from the simulation study. Through this approach, we are preventing the prediction of excessive loads, for example caused by a particular controlled strategy. It is also possible to create an animation of the simulation results in the 3D view. To do so, we go to 3D and click on Animation. In this case, we want to view the operative temperature and we also want to include shadows into the animation. Here we can see the operative temperature of different times of the day and the bottom right corner shows us the date as well as the time of the day. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to Help and Process Guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under Help, you will also find our Getting Started Guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under events, there, you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.